my main influences as, as an adult writer. Um, uh, Caval the Amazing Adventures of Cavalier and Clay came about at a very uh, instrumental time for me when I was starting to think about getting back into my own writing. And it, well, for one thing, it was just such a good book, but it was also just astonished me that it was like, you mean you can write about this stuff and people will still, you know, you can write about comic books and still, you know, you know, be respected and get the Pulitzer and, and people don't laugh at you. That's fantastic. I didn't know you could do that. And so Kim, you know, Jonathan Lethem, um, a lot of, you know, the Kelly Link, a lot of the, the sort of, the, the writers who do sort of cross over those, those genre boundaries and still have very emotionally resonant books um, as well as a lot of the science fiction authors, so, you know, coming at it sort of from the other side of, of what, you know, we sort of think of as the divide and maybe in my mind shouldn't. Um, you know, people like, um, oh, I'm going to blank on people's names now. Uh, well, Neil Gaiman and, um, oh, there's an author whose name I am completely forgetting. He's an African-American science fiction writer. Um, Samuel Delaney, thank you very much. One of the thinkiest writers around, and it's all um, it's all science fiction. Um, so, yeah, I sort of I feel it's sort of like a magpie. I, I just sort of pick and choose from 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 everywhere my where where I find things that are sort of genre interesting. <laughs>